Hi everybody. It's wonderful to be here with you all today. I want to start by sharing a little story. Imagine a young man walking along a beach at sunset, lost in his thoughts. He's pondering over his life, the choices he's made, the paths he's walked. It's a beautiful evening, the kind where the sky seems to be painting its own masterpiece, a blend of orange, pink, and purple hues. But for this young man, the beauty of the scene is lost. His mind is clouded with doubts, worries about the future, and questions about his purpose. Now, this young man, let's call him Michael, is much like any one of us. He's talented, has dreams, and holds a universe of potential within him. But like so many, Michael is unaware of the superpower that lies dormant within him. This superpower I'm talking about isn't the kind you see in comic books or movies. No, it's something far more extraordinary. It's the unique blend of talents, experiences, and passions that each one of us possesses. It's what sets us apart. What makes us who we are. You see, each of us has this incredible potential inside. It's like a seed that's waiting to be nurtured, to grow into something magnificent. But often, we walk through life, much like Michael, unaware of this immense power we hold within. We get caught up in the day-to-day, -day, in the hustle, and bustle, and in the process, we forget to look inside to discover what truly makes us special. Today, I want to talk about that journey of discovery. It's about more than just identifying what we're good at. It's about recognizing that within each of us lies an extraordinary power, uh, power that, when harnessed, can lead to remarkable achievements, not just for ourselves, but for the world around us. Think about the people who have made a significant impact in the world. What sets them apart? It's not just their skills or intelligence. It's their ability to tap into their inner superpower, to harness it, and to use it to drive change. They've understood something fundamental. That within them lies a force so potent that when unleashed, it can move mountains, shift paradigms, and create waves of positive change. As we embark on this journey together today, I want you to keep Michael in your mind. Like him, you might be standing on the shore, looking out into the vast ocean of possibilities, wondering where your path lies. But as we peel back the layers, as we dive deep into the essence of what makes you uniquely you, I hope you'll begin to see that you're not just a bystander in your life story. You are, in fact, the hero of your own epic tale. So let's start this adventure together. Let's uncover the superpower that resides in each of us, waiting to be discovered, nurtured, and unleashed. Let's begin the journey to not just meet, but to truly know and embrace our superpowers. Understanding your unique potential. It's like embarking on a voyage to uncover a treasure that's been with you all along. This journey is not just about recognizing your talents and skills. It's about discovering the essence of who you are and what makes you, well, you. Imagine for a moment that life is a grand orchestra. Each person has their own instrument to play, their own unique sound to contribute. Some might have the loud, commanding presence of a trumpet while others possess the gentle, soothing touch of a violin. The beauty of this orchestra lies in the diversity of its music, the harmony created when each instrument is played to its potential. Similarly, in the orchestra of life, each of us has a unique role to play a contribution that only we can make. Now think about what makes you come alive. What are those things that when you do them, time seems to fly by? It could be anything. Writing, cooking, solving complex problems, helping others, creating art, or leading. These are clues, signposts pointing towards your unique potential. They are the activities where your talents naturally shine, where your passion meets your skills, 
But understanding your potential is more than just identifying what you're good at. It's about digging deeper, uncovering the values and beliefs that drive you. It's about understanding your why. Why do you get out of bed in the morning? What is it that fuels your fire, that keeps you going, even when the going gets tough? This why is your compass, guiding you towards your true potential. As you explore this, you'll likely encounter obstacles, doubts, fears, and societal expectations that try to steer you off course. Remember, the tallest trees often face the strongest winds. These challenges are not there to stop you. They're there to strengthen you, to help you grow into the fullness of your potential. Let me share a story about a woman named Sarah. Sarah was a talented painter, but she spent years pursuing a career in law because that's what everyone expected of her. She was successful, but she wasn't happy. It wasn't until she listened to that inner voice, that whisper of her true potential, that she made the bold decision to embrace her passion for art. Today, Sarah is not only a successful artist, but also a source of inspiration for others to follow their dreams. This story of Sarah isn't unique. There are countless stories of people who, when they embrace their true potential, not only transformed their own lives, but also made a significant impact on the world. Think of the inventors, the creators, the leaders, the everyday heroes who, by embracing their unique abilities, change the course of history. Understanding your potential is also about embracing the journey of continuous learning and growth. It's about being open to new experiences, willing to step out of your comfort zone and ready to evolve. It's about understanding that potential is not a fixed entity. It's a dynamic, ever-changing landscape that grows as you grow. As we move forward in our conversation, I invite you to think about your own life. Reflect on your journey so far. What are the moments when you've felt most alive? What are the challenges that have shaped you? Who are the people who have inspired you? These reflections are the pieces of a puzzle, and as you put them together, a picture of your unique potential begins to emerge. Remember, the journey to understanding your potential is not a race. It's a marathon. It's not about comparing yourself to others. It's about being the best version of yourself. It's about recognizing that you have something special to offer to the world, something that no one else can. As we wrap up this part of our conversation, keep in mind that your unique potential is a gift, not just to yourself, but to the world. It's a source of strength, a beacon of hope, a catalyst for change. Embrace it, nurture it, and let it shine. In the next part of our discussion, we'll explore how to overcome the barriers that prevent us from embracing our true potential. But for now, take a moment to appreciate the journey you're on and the incredible potential that lies within you. In our journey of self-discovery and realization of our unique potential, there's a crucial bridge we must cross, overcoming self-doubt and fear. It's a path that all great achievers have walked. This phase is not about the absence of doubt or fear, but about learning to move forward despite them. It's about understanding that these feelings are not roadblocks, but rather signposts that guide us towards our true potential. Let's start by acknowledging that self-doubt and fear are part of the human experience. They're as natural as breathing. The key is not to let them paralyze you. It's like learning to sail. You don't wait for the sea to be perfectly calm. Instead, you learn to navigate through the waves and the winds, using them to propel you forward. Self-doubt often stems from our inner critic, that little voice inside that questions our abilities and worth. It's like a shadow that follows us, casting doubts over our aspirations. But here's the thing. Shadows only appear when there's light. And that light is your potential, your dreams, your aspirations. 
So every time self-doubt casts a shadow, remember it's because you're shining your light on something important. Fear, on the other hand, is often rooted in the unknown, the uncertainty of what lies ahead. It's a natural response to stepping out of our comfort zone. But think about this. All great adventures start with stepping into the unknown. It's where we grow, learn, and discover new aspects of ourselves. Embracing fear is not about being reckless. It's about being courageous. It's about recognizing that on the other side of fear lies growth. Now, how do we overcome these formidable foes? The first step is awareness. Recognize when self-doubt and fear are speaking. Acknowledge their presence, but don't let them drive your actions. It's like being the captain of your ship. You hear the advice of your crew, but ultimately the decision of where to steer lies with you. The next step is to build a foundation of self-belief. This doesn't happen overnight. It's built brick by brick through small acts of courage, through every challenge you face and overcome. It's about celebrating your victories, no matter how small, and learning from your setbacks. Remember, every great achiever has faced setbacks. What sets them apart is not the absence of failure, but the resilience to rise again. Another powerful tool in overcoming self-doubt and fear is visualization. Imagine yourself achieving your goals. Feel the success, the joy, the pride. Visualization is like planting the seeds of success in the fertile soil of your mind. It prepares you for the real thing and reinforces your belief in your ability to achieve it. Surround yourself with positivity. Be around people who uplift you, who believe in you, who challenge you to be better. These are the people who will help you silence the inner critic and face your fears. They are your cheerleaders, your mentors, your support system. Remember, overcoming self-doubt and fear is not about being fearless or doubtless. It's about moving forward in spite of them. It's about understanding that these feelings are part of the journey, not the end of it. It's about harnessing them to fuel your journey towards your potential. As we conclude this part of our conversation, remember that overcoming self-doubt and fear is an ongoing process. It's a journey, not a destination. It's about continuously pushing your boundaries, challenging your limits, and growing beyond what you thought was possible. Having acknowledged and begun to overcome our self-doubt and fears, we arrive at a vital stop in our journey. The power of this is not just a pause. It's an exploration, a deep dive into the very core of who we are. In the hustle of everyday life, in the pursuit of our goals and dreams, it's easy to lose sight of the importance of pausing and looking inward. But it's in these moments of quiet introspection that we often find the most profound insights and clarity. Self-reflection is like holding up a mirror to your soul. It's about asking yourself the hard questions, the ones that go beyond the surface. What am I? What do I value? What are my deepest desires and fears? What are the lessons I've learned from my experiences? This process can be uncomfortable, even daunting, but it's essential for true growth and self-awareness. Imagine you're on a long, solitary walk through a serene forest. With each step, you're not just moving forward on the path, but you're also journeying deeper within yourself. The quietness of the surroundings allows you to hear your own thoughts more clearly, to understand your emotions, your reactions, and your choices. This walk in the forest is a metaphor for self-reflection, a journey that is as much about exploring your inner world as it is about traversing the outer one. Self-reflection is also about acknowledging your strengths and weaknesses. It's about being honest with yourself, recognizing where you excel and where you need to improve. This isn't about self-criticism. It's understanding that acknowledging your weaknesses isn't a sign of failure, but a step towards good. 
It's like a gardener knowing exactly what each plant needs to flourish. Sunlight, water, or maybe just a bit more time. This process of self-reflection also helps in aligning your actions with your values. It's easy to get swayed by external influences to drift away from what truly matters to you. By regularly reflecting on your values and goals, you ensure that your actions are in harmony with your true self. It's like having an inner compass that keeps you on your desired path, even when external circumstances try to push you off course. But how do we incorporate self-reflection into our busy lives? It doesn't have to be a grand, time-consuming process. It can be as simple as spending a few quiet minutes each day, maybe at the beginning or the end, to just be with your thoughts. Journaling is another powerful tool. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can provide clarity and insights that may not be apparent in the whirlwind of daily life. It's like each word you write down helps to clear a little bit of the fog that often clouds our minds. Self-reflection also involves learning from your past experiences. Look back at your life, not with regret or nostalgia, but with curiosity and a desire to learn. What have your experiences taught you? How they shaped the person you are today? This is not about dwelling in the past, but about understanding it and using those insights to guide your future actions. As you embrace the power of self-reflection, you'll begin to notice changes in yourself. You'll find a deeper sense of purpose, a clearer vision of your goals, and a stronger connection with your inner self. You'll become more resilient, more adaptable, and more in tune with your true potential. That self-reflection is a continuous process. It's not something you do once and then forget about. It's an ongoing practice, a habit to cultivate a companion on your journey towards realizing your superpower. Following our exploration of self-reflection, it becomes clear that the next vital step in our journey is about harnessing your superpower. This is where your journey turns from inward contemplation to outward action, from understanding your potential to actively bringing it to life. Harnessing your superpower is about putting into practice everything you've learned about yourself. It's about taking those insights, those moments of clarity and self-awareness, and translating them into concrete actions. Think of it as a craftsman who, after carefully choosing his materials and tools, begins the meticulous process of creation. Each of us is that craftsman and the life we build is our masterpiece. First and foremost, recognize that this process is unique for each person. Your superpower is uniquely yours, and how you bring it to life will be just as unique. It's like a fingerprint. No two, your journey is your own, and it's important to honor that. Trust in your abilities and in the path you've chosen. Begin by setting clear, achievable goals that align with your superpower. These goals act as beacons, guiding your efforts and keeping you focused. They provide a sense of direction and purpose, turning your potential into tangible outcomes. But remember, the journey towards these goals is as important as the goals themselves. Each step you take is an opportunity to learn to grow and to get closer to realizing your full potential. As you work towards these goals, it's essential to stay adaptable. Life is unpredictable and the path to success is rarely a straight line. There will be obstacles, detours, and unexpected challenges. Embrace these as opportunities to learn and to strengthen your resolve. It's in overcoming these challenges that your superpower truly shines. Another key aspect of harnessing your superpower is to continuously nurture and develop it. Like a muscle, your superpower needs to be exercised and challenged to grow stronger. This could mean seeking new experiences, pursuing further education, 
or simply pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. It's about staying curious and open-minded, always looking for ways to expand your abilities and your understanding of the world. It's also important to not go on this journey alone. Surround yourself with people who support and inspire you, who challenge you to be your best self. These can be mentors, peers, friends, or family members. Anyone who encourages you and helps you stay true to your path. Remember, even the greatest achievers didn't do it alone. They had a support system, a network of people who believed in them and their vision. As you harness your superpower, remember to stay grounded in your values and true to yourself. Success is not just about achieving goals. It's about achieving them in a way that is authentic. It's about making a positive impact, not just in your own life, but in the lives of those around you. Your superpower, when harnessed correctly, has the potential to not just change your life, but to change the world. As you embark on this part of your journey, remember to celebrate your progress. Acknowledge your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. Each victory is a step towards realizing your full potential, a testament to your hard work and dedication. Take a moment to reflect on the journey ahead. Think about the goals you want to achieve the impact you want to have, and the legacy you want to leave. Harnessing your superpower is not just about personal success. It's about creating something meaningful, something that will endure long after you've reached your goals. Having embraced and begun to harness our unique superpowers, it's essential to turn our gaze outward and consider the impact of these powers on those around us. The true measure of our superpowers isn't just in how they transform our own lives, but in how they touch and influence the lives of others. Think of it this way. A single candle can light up a small space, but when its flame is used to light other candles, the brightness is magnified, illuminating a much larger area. Similarly, when you use your talents, your skills, your unique abilities, not just for your own benefit, but to uplift others. The impact is exponential. It's not just about what you achieve, but about what you inspire others to achieve. Your superpower, be it empathy, creativity, leadership, or something else entirely, has the potential to leave a lasting imprint on the world. Imagine a teacher whose passion ignites a love of learning in her students or a leader whose vision and integrity inspire a new generation of change makers. These individuals are not just remembered for their achievements, but for the way they empowered others to realize their own potential. Moreover, the impact of your super power on others creates a ripple effect. Every person you inspire, every life you touch carries a part of that influence forward. They, in turn, impact others, who impact others, and so on. It's like planting seeds that grow into trees, which then produce more seeds. Your influence through your superpower has the potential to grow beyond your immediate circle, reaching far and wide. But remember, the impact of your superpower is not just about grand gestures or monumental achievements. It's often in the small acts of kindness the everyday moments of connection and support, that the true power lies. It's in the listening ear. You offer a friend the encouragement you give a colleague, the wisdom you share with a young person. These moments may seem insignificant, but their impact can be profound and lasting. As you continue to develop and harness your superpower, keep in mind the responsibility that comes with it. With great power comes great responsibility, a responsibility to use your abilities ethically to contribute positively to the world around you and to lift others up as you rise. As we wrap up this part of our conversation, I encourage you to think about the ways in which your superpower can impact others. 
Consider how you can use your talents and abilities, not just for personal success, but for Think about the legacy. You want to leave the kind of mark you want to make on the world? As we've journeyed together, exploring the essence and impact of your superpower, it's crucial to address the next phase. Sustaining your superpower through growth and adaptation. This part of the journey is about ensuring that the superpower you've honed and the impact you've started to make are not just fleeting moments, but enduring parts of your life's tapestry. Sustaining your superpower is akin to tending a garden. Just as a gardener nurtures each plant, adjusting to the seasons and the changing needs of the garden, you too must nurture your abilities and adapt to the ever-changing circumstances of life. It's an ongoing process requiring attention, care, and continuous learning. The first step in this process is commitment to lifelong learning. The world is constantly evolving with new challenges and opportunities emerging all the time. To keep your superpower relevant and effective, you must stay curious, open to new ideas, and eager to expand your knowledge. This could mean formal education, self-study, or learning from the experiences and insights of others. Just as a tree grows stronger and more resilient with each passing year, your superpower will grow more potent as you expand your knowledge and skills. Adaptation is also key. The ability to adapt to change is a superpower in itself. Life will inevitably throw curveballs your way and your ability to adapt your superpower to these new circumstances will be crucial. It's about being flexible, embracing change, and seeing it not as an obstacle, but as an opportunity to grow. Remember, the strongest trees are those that bend with the wind, not those that remain rigid and unyielding. Another important aspect of sustaining your superpower is self-care. Just as a machine needs regular maintenance to function at its best, you too need to take care of your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. This includes rest, nutrition, exercise, and time for reflection and relaxation. By taking care of yourself, you ensure that you have the energy, health, and focus needed to continue using your superpower effectively. It's also vital to stay connected with your purpose and your values. In the pursuit of goals and the hustle of daily life, it's easy to lose sight of why you started this journey in the first place. Regularly reconnecting with your purpose will keep you grounded and focused, ensuring that your superpower is used in ways that are meaningful and aligned with your true self. Finally, remember that sustaining your superpower is not a solitary journey. Engage with a community of like-minded individuals who can offer support, guidance, share your experiences, learn from others, and celebrate each other's successes. Together, you can create a synergy that amplifies your individual superpowers and creates a collective force for good. As we near the end of our conversation, take a moment to appreciate the journey you've embarked on. Reflect on the growth you've experienced the challenges you've overcome, and the impact you've made. Looking forward, embrace the continuous journey of nurturing, adapting, and growing your superpower. Remember, the journey never truly ends. It only evolves into new chapters, each filled with its own opportunities for growth and impact. As we stand at this juncture, Looking back at the ground we've covered and forward to the horizons yet to be explored, it's clear that this moment is more than just a pause. It's a launching point. Throughout our journey together, we've delved into the very essence of what makes you unique, your superpower. We've navigated the challenges of self-doubt and fear, learned the value of deep self-reflection and understood how to harness and sustain the incredible power that lies within you. But now it's time to turn these insights and reflections into decisive action. The journey ahead is yours to chart. Like a navigator setting sail across uncharted seas, 
you hold the map to your future in your hands. This map is drawn from the knowledge of your strengths, the understanding of your potential, and the wisdom gained from your experiences. It's time to take that first bold step forward. Remember, the greatest journeys all start with the courage to begin. Set your goals with clarity and precision. They should be like stars guiding you through the night sky. Bright, clear, and beckoning you forward. Approach these goals with a sense of purpose and determination, but also with the flexibility to adapt as you learn and grow. The path to realizing your dreams is rarely a straight line. It twists and turns, offering lessons and new perspectives at every bend. In this journey, resilience will be your closest ally. You will encounter obstacles and challenges, but it's in facing these hurdles that your superpower truly comes to life. Embrace these challenges as opportunities to strengthen your resolve and deepen your understanding. Each setback is a stepping stone towards greater achievements, a lesson in the art of perseverance. And as you move forward, remember the importance of balance and self-care. Your superpower, magnificent as it is, draws from your well-being. Nurture yourself, body, mind, and soul to keep your inner flame burning brightly. A well-tended fire spreads warmth far and wide, just as a well-nurtured spirit radiates strength and positivity. Your journey, however, is not just about personal achievement. It's about the impact you have on the world around you. Each of us has the power to be a force for good, to inspire, to uplift, and to make a difference. Share your journey with others, offer your strength to those in need, and be a beacon of hope and inspiration. The true measure of your success will be seen in the lives you touch and the positive change you bring about. As we conclude, I urge you to step forward with a heart full of hope and a spirit ready for adventure. The world awaits the magic that only you can bring. Embrace your superpower, live your truth, and step into a future that is bright with promise. This is not just an end. It's a bright beginning, a new dawn of possibility. Go forth with confidence and courage. For your journey is a story yet to be written, a song yet to be sung. The world is waiting for your unique melody. Let it play.